Hey everyone, the Roads Here Suck here. Thank you for joining me in another one of my shit shows. Uh, just coming back from the range. It's getting dark out. It gets dark early in the winter. Fall, winter. It's supposed to be fall, but it's been really, really cold, so winter. Except today, today's warm. I don't even know what's going on with that. But you know how you're just standing there, you're having a good time, and then you just kind of remember something, something really embarrassing, and then you're just like, oh that happened yeah that's right uh, I just remembered one of the most embarrassing moments in my life so uh, I bet you guys will love to hear about this this one time years ago I was uh, dating the spoiled brat basically and one day she goes you know can you please come meet me at so-and-so restaurant and pick me up and all that stuff and I was like uh, I mean you know it's New York City so there's there's access to the subway trains could have easily taken a train to meet me. Um, I appreciate it, but that wasn't necessary. Oh, thank you, kind sir. Good merge. Anyways. I was dating this drama queen, this spoiled brat, this like French little lap dog once upon a time in New York City. And she was like, come oh, pick me up at so and so place. And I was just like, really? You're gonna make me drive so I can show free you around and shit? You can't just be like a normal person and take the subway train and meet me like a normal human being. But, anyways, I was like, yeah, sure, I'll do something nice. I'll pick you up and stop. So, I hop in the car. I go to a place. It's like, uh, it was on Metropolitan Avenue, it was like a, near a place that was like a restaurant with glass windows and stuff. And it was nighttime, it was pretty dark. I'm, I just get there, I pull over, I start waiting. And you know, I was a little bit grumpy I guess, because like, what the fuck, why can't you just take the subway train? And I was thinking about this vine that I had seen at the time. You know that it was a long time ago because vines were a thing, but I, I saw this like vine and it was, I don't know, some officer walking around, walks up to a drunk guy, the drunk guy's like, who are you, what are you doing, or something like that, and the officer's like, I'm your Uber driver, come on in, so I was like, you know what, that was pretty funny, I think I might use that joke, so, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, she starts walking, she like exits the restaurant, starts walking to my car, opens the door, says, hey, how are you, and I'm just like, I'm your Uber driver, get in, like, jokingly, you know, She's like, gets in, we start chatting, I'm like, hey, so, you know, how's your day going and stuff? She's like, it's been going good, been having fun with my friends, well, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, you know where you're going, right? And I'm just like looking at her like, oh, where are we going? And she looks at me, and she goes, you're not my Uber driver! And like, fucking opens the door, fucking swings that door open, jumps the hell out, slams my door, like, my door, like, was open so hard that it slammed itself shut as she ran the fuck out of my car and like ran down the street and I was just like that was not the person I was supposed to pick up that was somebody who looked very much like her but wasn't her and I was like oh no what have I done it's so embarrassing I put my head on the steering wheel I'm like oh god I'm so sorry, lady. And then sure as shit, from like the subway entrance, a uh, lady bitch like comes out and starts walking towards me, gets in my car, and she's like, hey, have you seen that girl running down the block? Like, what's up with her? And I'm just like, oh, you don't even know. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know anything at this point. Why'd you take the subway if you didn't want to take the subway? Why'd you take the... She took the subway to meet me, so she wouldn't have to take the I don't even know. I was like, you know what? Let's get the fuck out of here. Goodbye. I'm out. Don't want to be seen in this neighborhood anymore for the next five years. I'm good. Thank you.
whoever that was who legitimately walked up, walked up to my car, got in, and was actually legitimately trying to get an Uber, and I said, I'm your Uber driver, I am so sorry, that wasn't meant to be that way. Um, let's be friends, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> no, don't be my friend. But still, uh, that was... That was the most embarrassing moment of my life, very easily. Um, I, you know, I see people like when you go to like a Walmart parking lot. Every now and now and again, somebody will walk up to a car and like pull a door handle when it's not their car, and they feel stupid, you know. But this is like the ultimate stupidly stupid, like the stupidest of the stupid. It was the most embarrassing moment of my life. If you ask me, what is my most embarrassing moment? This is what I come up with because I can't think of anything else. So, um, there's a brief little story time while I drive around board. I hope you enjoyed that. Looking back at it, it's funny, but, you know, at the time that was really, really embarrassing. So, uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you had a good time laughing at me, press the like button. Maybe consider subscribing. Maybe, maybe. And uh, if you have something similar or another embarrassing experience, eh, drop a comment maybe so we can laugh at you too. Wishing you a wonderful day. Stay warm. Have a good one. Bye-bye.